Harlem, D.C., where the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge so was 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, and the Commander General Yohanna. Since 1969, we've been teaching the truth of the Bible. And the truth is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the true Jews and that our oppressors, the devil, that the Bible speaks of. We're not affiliated with any other uh, Hebrew group or Christian organization on the planet. One West is home of the truth and that is it. The reason why we are the home of the truth is because we tell our people, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, the truth about the Bible. And the truth is that hell is not some place you go to when you die. Right. Hell is actually a condition that you are in right here in this, this land of the living. Every Black, Hispanic, and Native American Indian has experienced some form of hell from our oppressor. From, from all the way up into uh, uh, North America, all the way down to the tip of South America, and everywhere in between, we have experienced hell from our oppressor. And it doesn't matter what social status you, you are in currently, you have experienced some form of hell. And the sad part about that is a lot of times we put ourselves, our own brothers and sisters, through that hell that we have been through. It is a vicious cycle. And I'm about to tell you out the scriptures how we are in hell and what the description of hell really is. Read what you got. The book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 12, 28. And fear not them which kill the body. So this is this is uh, Christ talking to, talking to the people and his disciples. He's telling everybody to fear not the what? Fear not them which kill the body. Don't fear any man, because any man can kill the body. That's not what you should fear, but he's going to give you something to fear. This is what you should fear. But, but are not able to kill the soul. So he says, don't fear the, the, the person, the man, that can kill the body, but he cannot destroy the soul. There is a difference between the two, right? So don't fear anybody that, that, can, that can lay you to rest. Here's, here's something else that the Christian church doesn't tell you about. We were all here at one point in time, and we will all be back. So don't fear death, because we are coming back. But this is what we should fear. But rather fear him, but rather what? Fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and... He said, fear him, that, that which is able to destroy both. That's the opportune word right there. Listen to that. Fear who? Fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body. He is able to destroy both soul and body. Now, how is he going to destroy? That is very clear how, how he can destroy the body. It is very clear how, how he can destroy the body, but it's unclear because we are Christian. Most of us are Christian, and we don't learn a damn thing in Christian church except for the, uh, the, the abominations of the Christian church, like child molestation and homosexuality and adultery. We learn all of that in church. But what we don't learn is how in the world can someone kill the body and destroy the soul. Here's how he can destroy the soul. Come on, come. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Don't fear them that can kill the body, but, are, but can't kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. He is able to fear the one that is able to destroy both body and soul that in hell. He is able, who, who can put our soul in hell? That's the only one creature that's the only one being that's the most high God right. he is the only one that can put us in this hellish condition that we are in right now you cannot tell me that blacks Hispanics, and Native Americans are not in hell ask the, ask the parents down in you Vlad Texas are they in hell they're in hell right now they're they're making arrangements to bury their eight nine and ten year old children who in the hell has ha, has to go through that and why, why do we have a, a, a situation, a personal hell like that? It's because 
we give in to our oppressor. We, our oppressor tells us that if we, if a man wants to be with a man, or if a woman wants to be with a woman, he must be born like that and everybody has to accept it. Well, those people down in Texas did not accept that, that man being a homosexual. And he took it out on innocent children. This, this dude, this animal, drove an hour out the way to go and shoot some babies, some helpless, defense, defenseless people. Why? Because he is nothing but a bully. Right. That whole culture is nothing but bullies. That's right. And he did that to enforce, to, 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 to force his lifestyle on people who did not want that lifestyle. Now there's a whole community that is in hell because he didn't want to uh, change. He didn't want to change. He wanted everybody else to change. Because of that, we got a whole community of parents, a whole community of our people, these people on the side that are in mourning, that are in hell. And who's to say they can ever get out of hell? People, people change because their dog died. Just imagine how much psychological damage people go through because their children are taken from them. Right. Not only that, how much psychological damage can someone be when they're actually there at the damn school trying to get their children out and the cops are telling them, no, you cannot take them out. That is another personal hell. Now should we trust the police? Do we have to give our, our uh, uh, faith and honor in the people that were supposed to protect and serve us? They did not protect and serve us. They protected and served themselves because they were cowards. They did not want to go in there because he had a gun. Well, our children were defenseless. Who was going to protect our children? I'll tell you who was going to protect our children, the Most High. The reason why, the reason why we are in this situation is because we decided not to follow the Most High's laws, that's the commandments. If we told that, that dude, that monster, that he is a boy, he is a man, that should be with women and correct his behavior, none of this would happen. But no, we have to, we, we have to live up under the, the oppressor's uh, uh, so-called reality. And under that so-called reality, we go to hell. Our condition is hell because we want to live up under another people's ideology. Read that from the top, one more time. One more time. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Fear him that is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Just imagine if we had corrected that bastard that, that, that was down in Texas, None of this would have happened. Right. If we would have had to listen to the Most High God's law, statutes, and commandments and enforce in our children's minds that homosexuality is, a, is an abomination according to the Most High, none of, the, none of us would be in hell. We wouldn't, our people would not be in hell in that border town in Texas. But because we choose not to obey the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments, we are in mourning, and we are going to continue to be in mourning as long as we do not follow the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. But the Christian church don't tell you that. Why? Because the Christian church is born and bred to keep our people in hell. Right. Give me Ecclesiastes 3 and, and 16. And I'm going to tell you exactly how we are in hell. That was just one scripture. And that, was, that scripture was coming from the mouth of Christ. Christ is telling us, don't fear anybody who can just who can just murder you, who can just take you out. Fear that man, and when I say that man, I'm talking about the Most High God. Fear that, because the Most High God is a man. He's not just a spirit. He sits on the throne. He is a man of war. And he will cast you in hell if you do not obey everything he tells you to do. You don't know what he's telling you to do? Grab a flyer, we'll teach you exactly what the Most High teach, tells us to do. Because you will not find any of this stuff in this Christian church. You will find nothing but abominations in a Christian church. 
You want to go get high? Go to the Christian church. They'll, they'll tell you where to find the, the, the illest lies. They'll tell you where to, where, where, where to cop the illest weed. Where, where you can where you cop the, the, the most, the illest heroin, where you will fall out. They'll tell you where the homosexuals are so you can go and get your freak on. Because half of them are in the church, are in the pulpit and in the choir. They know exactly where all that stuff is. That's the only thing that they can teach you. They cannot teach you how to be holy. They cannot teach you how to be righteous. They cannot teach you how to stand up for your people. They, they don't even tell you that you are the so-called, uh, you are the most High's chosen people by blood. They say that you're adopted in or grafted in. That's a goddamn lie. You are the chosen people, Black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. And everybody else can go suck a rock. Read what you got. Come on, come. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun. And moreover, this is the prophet talking. He said he saw under the sun, right? Keep going. And that which is to be has already been. So everything that, that has happened, is, everything that is going to happen, has happened before. You think homosexuality is, is, uh, is, is new? You think uh, uh, killing your, your brother over some frivolous act is new? You think being a drug dealer or, or, a dope, or a dope fiend new? None of this is new. You think being an adulterer or an adulteress is new? None of this is new. This has been going on in Israel since time of old. Everything that has happened before, everything that's going to happen has already happened. Right? Keep going. Thank you, brother. Grab a flyer. And God requires. Come, come. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. He said he saw under the sun a place of judgment. What is that place of judgment? That place of judgment is right here. Right here on, under the sun. Right now we are under the sun. This is the place of judgment. We are being judged day in and day out. I, those be, our people that was in that was in up in Buffalo, New York. Our people that was in Uvalade, Texas, were being judged because we did not follow the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. We were supposed to be the rulers of this earth, not just this city or or a certain town or a certain state or a certain country. The Most High God said He made this world, this earth, for the black so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. And if that is true, why in the hell are we mourning? the loss of our children down in Texas. Right. Why are we mourning the loss of the elderly up in Buffalo, New York? Right. The reason why we are in mourning right now, the reason why we are in hell right now is because we refuse to accept correction. We refuse to accept, the, to, to follow the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. How do I know this? Because the Christian church tells you all you gotta do is pray over that poor. All you got to do is say, say, God forgive me for sleeping with this horn. All you got to do is, is say a prayer before the strippers go out of the stripper pole and you will be saved. Strippers actually go in a prayer circle before they go on and strip. Like, like God is approving what they're about to do. God does not hear anything that they are saying. Everything that they are saying is an abomination because they do not follow the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. And the reason why we are in mourning is because we are not together. We are not one people. We are not under one ideology. And that ideology is, is of the Bible. It's following, following the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. So what he's saying is that judgment, like, like, the, the, like our people all over this earth, are being judged every single day here on this earth under the sun. Keep going. That wickedness was there. Wickedness was there. Keep going. And the place of righteousness. That iniquity was there. Right? Read that from the top one more time. Come on, God. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 16. And moreover, 
I saw under the sun the place of judgment. That wickedness was there. He said he saw under the sun the place of judgment. That wickedness was there. What wickedness was we talking about? How about a, a deranged lunatic who hated the fact that, that people would not accept him for love for a man loving a man? He is an absolute lunatic, and that is disgusting according to the Most High. That is wicked according to the Most High. That day that he decided to pick up that gun and shoot a bunch of innocent people who could not defend themselves, he was then judged later on that day. He is no longer here. That place of wickedness is right here. That place of judgment is right here. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven than the south Black power, uh, 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 One body, one face, one lord Feel like I can take over the world with one sword 144,000 men on one accord Not being in this army is something Ain't a four degree oh, niggas across the board Ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth Well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king Round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta Ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man Cause in our camp it ain't no cowards Hundred forty four grand Nigga is step before the song Rather die like a man Than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven And it's ours I'd rather die 